Hello friends, myself Chirag. In this video, I am going to discuss about Kerberos version 4, topic of network security. Let's see the outline of this video. The first one is Kerberos version 4.0 using authentication server only. The second one, Kerberos version 4.0 using authentication server and ticket granting server. Let's start with the definition of Kerberos server. So we can say, what is Kerberos? Kerberos is a network authentication protocol in which all the nodes communication with each other through a non-secure network. So all the nodes provide or we can say prove their identity to one another in a secure manner. So this is called Kerberos. Different version of Kerberos protocols. The first one is version 4.0 and the second one is version 5.0. In this video, I am going to discuss Kerberos version 4.0. So first of all, Kerberos version 4.0 using authentication server only. For example, there is one client C and the one server V is there. So client want to access services from the server V. How can it access the services from the server V? So first of all, client will log in into its machine and send a request to the authentication server. Uh, in request message, client is sending IDC, PC and IDV. IDC is the identity of user C. PC is the password of user C. We can say in the login process, this is the user ID and password is sent to the authentication server for the authentication process. And IDV is the identity of user V in which we can say client want to access services from the server V. So identity of server V is sent to the uh, authentication server. Here V is the server. In second step, authentication server sends a ticket to the client. So what is inside the ticket? So ticket is consists of IDC which was sent by the client, IDV which was sent by the client and uh, also added ADC. Here ADC is the network address of C and ticket is in encrypted form and the ticket is encrypted using the KV. KV is the secret encryption key which is shared by the authentication server and server V. So we can say client cannot decrypt that ticket. So client will accept that ticket and in third step client will send the ticket uh, with attached identity of user C and send to the uh, server V. So server V will accept that ticket, decrypt that ticket and match this IDC which is not encrypted form and IDC which is inside the ticket. If both are same, it means client or we can say user C is authenticated and also accept the ADC, it means network address of C and provide the services on this network address. So we can say a client can easily get the services after sending a ticket. Ticket was generated by authentication server. So this is the scenario of uh, client will access the server V using authentication server only in a non-secure environment. So all the three steps which I have explained over here, it is written over here in next slide. Now you can see over here in first step, client will access authentication server. So all the description written over here, you can also read from this. In second step, authentication server sends a ticket to the client. So all the description written over here, you can read from this slide. And the third one is client send ticket to the server V. And the description is written over here. You can read from this. So using authentication server only. So which kind of problem is arise? Now we discuss about that. Under this scheme, a user would need a new ticket for the every different services or we can say accessing every different servers. For example, there are number of servers are there. It may be printer server, mail server, file server. So every time user will uh, send a request to the authentication server and get a ticket and then a send ticket to the server. So every time need a new ticket and authentication server is continuously busy to providing a ticket to the user. Another problem is that password is an, uh, transmitted without encryption. It means hacker or attacker can capture the password and access the data from the server. So these two problems are only using authentication server. To resolve this problem, we can add ticket granting server with authentication server. Now using ticket granting server and authentication server. 
we will discuss same scenario which we have discussed in previous topic using authentication server only so here uh, for example there is one user c or we can say it is client and server v so client want to access services from the server v how can it access the services from the server v so first of all client send a request to the authentication server in which identity of user c and identity of tgs server here tgs is ticket granting server send to the authentication server so in figure you can see over here then authentication server replies to the client and send a ticket tgs in ticket tgs which is used to access the ticket granting server so ticket tgs which is in encrypted form and it is encrypted using the kc here kc is created from the user's password because authentication server will access central database server and access the password of user c and generate a key kc here client will uh, accept that message and decrypt that message and get the ticket tgs so what is actually inside the ticket tgs ticket tgs which is in encrypted form uh, encrypted using the ktgs ktgs which is shared between the uh, authentication server and ticket granting server only so user c cannot decrypt that ticket because uh, user c doesn't have the ktgs key so inside that ticket identity of user c network address of user c and the identity of tgs this both component idc and idtgs was sent in request form to the authentication server by client also at timestamp 1 and lifetime 1 lifetime 1 means the ticket lifetime and ts1 means ticket is generated on that timestamp 1 so in third step client send ticket to the tgs server so tgs server will accept that ticket also attached with idc and idv so ticket tgs will decrypt by the ticket granting server and verify the user identity from the ticket and with the identity of user c which is attached uh, outside the ticket if both are same it means user c is authenticated in fourth step tgs will send to the ticket to the client uh, which is ticket v so ticket v is accepted by the client so what is inside the ticket v ticket v includes the identity of user c network address of user c and the identity of server v and also send ts2 and lifetime2 so ts2 is the timestamp2 when ticket was generated and lifetime2 is the lifetime of the ticket v here ticket v is encrypted using kv and kv is shared between the server and tgs so this kv key is known by the server v and the tgs it means ticket granting server so client cannot decrypt that ticket and client will send ticket to the server v so server v will accept that ticket with attached with the identity of user c and ticket v is decrypted by the server v so server v match both the identity which is outside the ticket and inside the ticket v if both are same it means the user is authenticated and provides it requested services so what i have discussed over here in this five equations that all the uh, description written over here in next three slides now see over here here what i have discussed client to authentication server and authentication server to client uh, which is written over here you also can read from here and this is the second slide uh, this is the uh, client to tgs server and tgs server to client all the description written over here you can read from here and the final one uh, client sends ticket v to the server v so description is written over here so you can read from here so which kind of problems arise using ticket granting servers the first one is network service or we can say tgs or an application service must be able to prove the person using a ticket is the same person to whom that ticket was issued if user c is access the authentication server or ticket granting server and uh, get the ticket but a ticket is already captured by the other user and other user in the network will send a ticket to the ticket granting server or application server so it means impersonation or we can say fake person use the ticket and uh, access the services from the server second one 
there may be a requirement for servers to authentication themselves to the user it means server v must provides its identity to the uh, user c if it is not provide its identity or not authenticated to the user c it means the false server uh, will access the data from the client machine and uh, steal the data from the client machine so how can we resolve this both problem the first problem we resolve using the secret piece of information it means authentication server provides the secret piece of information to the client and ticket granting server so whenever client uh, go to the ticket granting server provide secret piece of information which is provided by authentication server it means the client is authenticated so no need to provide another identity uh, of the user the second problem overcome with the help of the session key so session key is included in the ticket and the client will access within the session or we can say within time limit access all the services from the server so thank you for watching this video please like share and comment subscribe my channel on youtube chirag balodia press bell icon to get new video notification follow my blog edu resources